If you are a finance person like me, this video will transform and speed up the way you calculate and analyze financial ratios. In 2024, if you are spending hours and hours calculating financial ratios manually, you should definitely check out ChatGPT, which can simplify the task. In this video, I'll walk you through how to use ChatGPT to calculate and analyze financial ratios. But to start, what we need is a set of financial statements, the income statement and the balance sheet and a basic understanding of what are the common financial ratios. I'll see you in the next. Before I get into ChatGPT, I just wanted to share with you what data we are using for this analysis. So what I have with me right now is a set of financial statements where you can see I have an income statement and a balance sheet. Okay, so this is all what we need to do ratio analysis. And just to cross check ChatGPT's output, I have also done some calculations for ratios for the common set of ratios, including the profitability ratios, the liquidity ratios, the activity ratios, and the solvency ratios. So we'll test all of these calculations, how it is done in ChatGPT versus the results which I have calculated in Excel. So this will be an interesting video to watch out for. So in this video, what uh, we are going to do is we are going to test if ChatGPT is able to calculate the ratios that we had done in the Excel file manually. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll bring the income statement and balance sheet here in ChatGPT. So I'll attach the income statement and balance sheet here in ChatGPT. To be able to do that, let me just bring in the income statement as a picture and what I'll do is I'll next get the balance sheet as well. So I am pasting the images of the balance sheet and PNL in ChatGP and I am asking it to if it is able to read. Okay. And it says yes, I can read and analyze PNL and balance sheet from the uploaded images. Let me extract the text and interpret the details for you. Okay, so right now what I have done is I've just submitted the income statement and the balance sheet in GPT. Now let me try and ask ChatGPT if it can calculate profitability ratios from the financial. Okay, so it has started calculating the gross profit margin, net profit margin, ROA and ROE, which is return on assets and return on equity. And it is asking me if you can confirm the key values for revenue, gross profit, EBIT and total income and can calculate these ratios for both current year and previous year, let me know. So what we want is for the current year, so I'm saying current year, okay? And once I give that command, it has started running some codes in Python and it is going to do some analysis. Based on the codes, it has come up with the results and it is telling me the gross profit margin, operating profit margin, net profit margin, ROA and ROE. Let me just compare this with what I have in my Excel file. Okay, so gross profit margin is what 24.42, which is exactly what I have. Uh, net profit margin is 8.9%, and ROA and ROE numbers are slightly different, maybe because I have taken averages in the denominator, and ChatGPT has taken the closing balances for the denominator. So that could be the only reason for the difference. But however, ChatGPT has done a decent job in calculating the profitability ratios. Now let me go to the next step and ask it to calculate the liquidity ratios. Remember liquidity ratios are your ratios like your current ratio and quick ratio. Okay, so now it is giving me the formulas for the current ratio, quick ratio, uh, cash ratio, and it's trying to calculate that using some codes. Okay, so it has given me the current ratio is 2.26. The quick ratio is 1.45. I'm just double checking that. And what I have is also the same number. My current ratio is 2.25 and my quick ratio is 1.45. So this looks to be okay. However, in the cash ratio, it has only taken the cash as uh, the numerator in the ratio calculation. It has ignored the marketable security. So depending on the definition, your cash ratio might have a different number if it is including or excluding your investment securities. Okay, now let's try and ask if it can calculate activity ratio. 
So, so activity ratios are ratios like your inventory turnover ratios and your accounts receivable turnover ratios. Let's see if it is able to do that. Also, if you notice, it is giving you some nice commentary on each of the ratios. Okay, so it is not just giving you the calculated ratio, but it's, it is also giving you some basic comments. Now we are doing inventory turnover ratio, receivable turnover ratio, asset turnover ratio, and working capital turnover ratio, and it is now calculating all of those ratios based on the PNL and balance sheet I have shared with them. Okay, so it's calculating the activity ratios. I'll just double check with what I have in my uh, in my screen. Again, these can differ based on the definitions for the ratios. Uh, based on if you take average or if you take closing balances. But uh, from the looks of it, it looks like it has done a decent job in calculating the ratios for inventory, receivables, asset, and working capital turnover. Okay, so we have done profitability ratios, liquidity ratios, and activity ratios. Let me now try and see if it is. In the previous video, we saw and calculated profitability ratios activity ratios and liquidity ratios using chat GPT. Now let's see if it can also calculate solvency ratios. So let me see if it is do, able to do that. Okay, so it is uh, listing down all the solvency ratios like the debt, debt to equity ratio, the debt ratio, the interest coverage ratio. And it is now given me the results as well. Your debt to equity ratio is 0 0.38, your interest coverage ratio is 8.28. Let me just double check with my results in the excel file okay so it is calculated the interest coverage ratio correctly which is 8.28 however debt to equity ratio is it has taken the total liabilities in the numerator while it should have only taken the total debt so if you can notice here it has made a mistake let me just prompt it to correct that mistake for debt you should take only external Debt. Okay, let's see if it is able to identify its mistake and correct it. Okay, so once it is uh, adjusted the calculation, now it is giving me the right debt to equity ratio, which is 0 0.22, which is also there in the Excel file. So, what I will do is I will also attach the Excel calculations for you to cross check once you give this, give this prompts and the financial statements into chat gpt and you can do this and try this on your own chat gpt to calculate the ratios not only calculate the ratios but also it gave us some basic commentaries on those ratios and we also noticed a case where the calculation had been a mistake and we were able to identify that mistake and prompt chat gpt to correct that mistake so um, keep keep that in mind that ChatGPT can make mistakes and uh, you will have to make sure that you double check all of the outputs that you plan to use from ChatGPT. So are you ready to take your AI skills to the next level? Don't just stop here. Check out our full ChatGPT for finance and fp &A course where you will learn all the tools and techniques to save time, deliver insights and stay ahead in your career. If you want a live and interactive experience, join our live AI for Finance and FPNA masterclass to get hands-on experience and real-time answers to your questions. Click on the link in the description below to enroll now and unlock the future of finance with AI and ChatGPT.